Hello students, today we are going to learn about the topic polygon rendering, that is constant shading, Gorot shading and form shading. Let's see what the polygon rendering is. Polygon rendering means giving proper intensity at each point in a graphical object to make it look like a real world object. So these three different rendering techniques are constant intensity shading, Gorot shading and form shading. So as we have seen, the first technique is less expensive and less accurate. And moving forward, the third one is the more accurate compared to these two and it is more expensive okay so as an example we have seen here this constant intensity intensity shedding is also called as a flat shedding okay so it looks like this okay then again we make some advancement into this to introduce the next method that is the garage shedding which looks quite better or a more accurate that the, than the flat shading. And then to bring more accuracy to the Gorot shading, we bring the form shading. So in this way, these methods are used for polygon rendering. Let's see it one by one. First is the constant intensity shading. It is also called as a flat shading. It is a simple and fast method. This approach applies an illumination model once to determine a single intensity value that is then used to shed the entire polygon. Okay, so we will color this polygon with the help of this flat shading and holding the value across the polygon to reconstruct the polygon's shed. So what we have to do, we have to construct or reconstruct the sheds of the polygon in different ways. So this method is quite accurate, but it can be more accurate by introducing the other methods. Okay, so we will see the next one that is the Gorot shading. It is an interpolation method used in a computer graphics to produce continuous shading of the surfaces represented by the polygon mesh. So it is represented with the help of polygon mesh and it gives us more accuracy than the flat shading. In this, each polygon has one normal vector per vertex. So as we have seen, the, uh, the polygon is have different vertices. Okay, so per vertices, there is one normal vector is used. But instead of interpolating the vectors, the color of each vertex is computed and then the interpolated across the surface of the polygon. So it produces a smooth surfaces compared to the flat shading. Now next is the form shading. This, is, this one is the more accurate shading technique than the previous two. So it is an interpolation technique for surface shading and more accurate interpolation based approach for rendering a polygon. It can also be referred to as form interpolation or normal vector interpolation shading. Now form is nothing but the name of the scientist like a Gorod. It improves, provides a better approximation of the shading of a smooth surface. So it requires more calculation. As we have seen, it is more smooth than comparative to flat shading and Gorot shading. So that's why it needs more calculation. And it, this greatly increases the cost of shading steeply. So the cost, it is quite expensive and it, it is complex to build such objects or it is quite complex to design such object with the help of form shading, but it gives you the more accurate result compared to other two. So see, these are the certain examples of the three different types of polygon rendering methods. This one is the flat shading. Then this one is the quite advanced Gorod shading, which is introduced by the Gorod scientist. And then the next one is the form. 
which is more accurate results we get. And the next one is the flat shading. Then Gorod shading is this way. And the form shading. It is more accurate method. So in this way, we have seen this different techniques for polygon rendering. Thank you.